going back to school vouchers, uh, what's your measuring stick? What will you do to determine if this uh, this new program is a success or failure? Well, my hope is, and I'm going to work aggressively on this, is because I included um, representatives from private schools and the choice movement in the school and school district accountability work group we put together, uh, I'd like to, uh, by this fall, so before the end of the year, ha have a way to include every school that gets uh, any form of public money. So a traditional public school, a charter school, as well as now the, uh, the private schools involved in the voucher program be a part of a report card system. I think to me that's the ultimate measure is I want to see that uh, kids are performing at least as well uh, and ideally better than they were in their previous uh, situation. Uh, and it's interesting. When I was up here, I, I was at a, a rally not long ago where I, I met a, a family, uh, 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 Francisco's family, I don't remember their last name now, but where they talked about how, you know, they were very kind, very cautious to make sure that they were not in any way putting down the public schools uh, here in Green Bay, but just said for whatever reason their son uh, did, did not, was not performing well and that he had a chance to go to a private school, uh, a Catholic school here in Green Bay. and that that really was very transformational for him. I want to see stories like that. Um, if if uh, you see that kind of success, it would make the case for uh, continuing on that path and potentially expanding it if, you, if we don't. Uh, and that's the charge I gave the school choice advocates. I said for those who will participate in this program as well as those in the past, uh, if you want to have any further discussions about expansion, you got to produce results. Um, you got to see that there's a, and, and that's why I think one of the benefits of, of having a, a rather measured expansion, the 500 the first year up to 1,000 the second, is it really allows for the opportunity to make sure uh, that, that it's a small enough expansion to begin with that every one of those kids are, are performing again at least as well and ideally exceptionally better than they were before. Based on their grades, you mean? You'll look at how they're doing with their grades? Yeah, we'll see that as part of the measure to see, you know, has this had a marked improvement? Now, granted, you know, there are other components, too. We've seen in the past that um, not only grades, we've seen uh, graduation rates. If you look at the Milwaukee program, for example, there's a significant uh, uh, differential in terms of kids in the choice voucher program there are much more likely to test and reading at a higher level and are much more likely to graduate at a higher level and the kids who aren't in there. Um, so that would be part of the equation out there. But it's, it's certainly one, and, but the other part is even with the Milwaukee program, part of the reason why I want uh, report cards for the, the program that's already been in place is I want to be able to weed out schools that aren't performing at exceptional levels. There's some great schools down there like Notre Dame, uh, like Mesmer, like the Hope Christian Schools, uh, like uh, Thomas More and others. Um, but then there's a few that, uh, that I think some some people would question if they're in that same league, and, and I'd like all the schools who participate uh, to be in that exceptional league. 